All right, so welcome back. And uh, the first of the apprentice races this afternoon goes the way of the Shining Star. He's certainly going to go through the ranks. There's no doubts about it. Well done to Sean Terry, number one, Miras, the son of Silvano. Of course, to Al-Adiyat, uh, South Africa, PTY Limited. Well played. Good to see these silks back in the winner's enclosure. Uh, Luke, before we go any further, well played uh, for Ronnie's candy over the weekend. I thought an exceptional ride. And uh, there's no doubt that that uh, salute after the finishing post is going to be hanging on uh, your bedroom wall. Yeah, look, it was it was fantastic to get the win on my board. Um, yeah, I think it all really comes down to chances, and I'm I'm just grateful to, to Mr. Gray for giving me that chance. But yeah, coming back to um, this this fellow today, um, he was in superb condition. So thank you to Mr. Terry and his team back at home. They really do an outstanding job. And yeah, he, he did take he took a bit of a ride, but um, yeah, he definitely he stuck his nose out at the right time, and you know he won a nice race. So yeah, I'm just glad it's come through. Big thank you to the owners, Aladi out South Africa. So yeah, just a Great day all around. Look, I think uh, from your side, it's job well done because it's never easy carrying top weight. So you got the guys claiming four, some of them below you, and you drawn uh, out in uh, the river. But um, you got over into a prominent position, and like you said, you needed all that uh, bit of help from both you and the horse in the closing stages. So well played, Luke. Thanks. Yeah, it definitely wasn't easy coming from that uh, draw 14, like you said, with the top weight. Um, but yeah, that's uh, you know, I think it all boils down to, again, to a superb job that Mr. Terry and his team have, do have done. So, yeah, a big thank you to them for the opportunity. In terms of yourself, Luke, I actually want to talk about you a little bit because, uh, like I said, I was quick to mention Shining Star, but uh, what are your plans going forward? I know that we're well into the season, but um, we've got a few big ones around the corner between Durban, between Joburg. Are you going to contemplate going to Cape Town as well? Um, yeah, look, I'll take any opportunity that uh, comes my way. And, you know, at the moment, um, they all really seem to be up in Joburg. So, yeah, I've just, I, I, I sort of just take it how it comes and, any big race that gets thrown at me, I'll, I'll grab with both hands. Um, but, you know, you just got to keep bringing in the winners, uh, get your name out there as much as possible and see where it goes. Look, great stuff. Like I was saying, you just keep your head on your shoulders. You're certainly one of the leading lights that uh, I've picked up and many other people are talking Luke Ferraris at the moment. So well played and keep doing what you do best, and that's riding winners. Thanks. Yeah, another big thank you to Mr. Moore for all the work he does with us and to my sponsors, Aventure. Thanks. Lovely stuff. There we go. Pippa Micklebrow and her team out in the Western Cape. They've certainly uh, put their sponsored brand onto Luke Ferraris, and uh, it's going to put a big smile on their face that they've managed to get the victory over here with uh, number one, Mi Ross. I know it's not um, uh, related to uh, Aventir at all, but um, nonetheless, uh, Luke Ferraris is uh, flying that South African flag high at the moment. He's one of the young guns coming through. And uh, we talk about young blood, and that's uh, one of them. So well played, of course, uh, to Mr. Moore back at the academy. Well done to you, sir. I think uh, these apprentices are really polished up now and uh, the guys can start uh, wagering on them as well so I think it's uh, an okay result I didn't find the winner I must be dead honest I thought gentleman's wager for all the money in the world was uh, going to get there and uh, keep our jackpot two in but that's not the case it's not the end of the road either we've still got two more to come from the uh, scorching vol race course until then back to the studio completes the lineup 2,000 meters they're set and they're off and racing to a good enough beginning for them gentlemen's wager began well marmara's see humor me's roused along the early stages in for a penny miras wider out then i fly and born rich along the inside is mount rainier that's followed by tandra and revelation Further back to Woodlands, Forest and Flatley, Mighty Veldy and Darkest Hour, then a compact field. There's eight lengths covering them first to last. 1,600 metres to go. It's in for a penny and Born Rich. They pick it up together now. In for a penny just ahead of Born Rich and Second Eye Fly. Along the inside, Marmara C. Then comes Gentleman's Wager. Miras is racing outside of them with Hugh Mimi. They've got six lengths to make up. Behind that is Tandra and Revelation. Along the inside is Mount Rainier. They're followed by Darkest Hour. Mighty Veldy gives them eight lengths start. Woodlands Forest is second to last and flatly is the trailer. Past the 1,200 and towards the 1,000 and they'll come to the home turn shortly and in for a penny by a length and a half here from I Fly in second. Then comes Born Rich along the inside. Miras is racing 
fourth with Marmoracy in fifth position. Humor Me behind that with Revelation and Tandra. Down along the inside, Gentleman's Wage has got five or six lengths to find. Behind that one is Darkest Hour. Further back to Mighty, Valdi and Woodlands Forest and Flatley is the trailer. Homeward bound. They come down to the 700 meter markets in for a penny. Miras emerges as the danger initially. Down the inside is Marmoracy. Further back to Gentleman's Wager makes up the ground along the inside. Born Rich is dropping out away towards the outside is Darkest Hour, Humor Me, and further back to Revelation as they come down inside the final 400. Gentleman's Wager slips through along the inside, picks up the lead from Miras towards the outside. They're driven along in for a penny. Then came Marmoracy, and further back down the inside is Mount Rainier. They've got 200 meters left to go. It's Gentleman's Wager, a length and a half clear. Miras is the danger on the outside. Then came in for a penny, Darkest Hour, Gentleman's Wager, Miras down the outside, coming back for more as in for a penny it's Miros that gets up close to her Miros has gone on to win it from in second gentleman's wager in for a penny Marmoracy Mount Rainier and Darkest Hour down along the inside gentleman's wager's got five or six lengths to find behind that one is Darkest Hour further back to Mighty Valdi and Woodlands Forest and Flatley is the trailer homeward bound they come down to the 700 meter markets in for a penny Miros emerges as the danger initially down the inside is Marmoracy further back to gentleman's wager makes up the ground along the inside. Born Rich is dropping out away towards the outside is Darkest Hour, Humor Me, and further back to Revelation as they come down inside the final 400. Gentleman's Wager slips through along the inside, picks up the lead from Miras towards the outside. They're driven along in for a penny. Then came Marmoracy, and further back down the inside is Mount Rainier. They've got 200 meters left to go. It's Gentleman's Wager, a length and a half clear. Miras is the danger on the outside. Then came in for a penny, Darkest Hour. Gentleman's Wager, Miras down the outside, coming back for more as in for a penny it's Miros that gets up close to her Miros has gone on to win it from in second gentleman's wager in for a penny Marmoracy
on to the uh, penultimate race of the day, race seven, as the interbet.co.za0861150160, Phillies and Mayors 92 handicap over 1,000 metres. In race seven, number four, Too Fat to Fly. Has blinkers on. The colour change is now owned by Messrs. Colin Govindasamy, Jacques Bierman, Baron Burtis, and Craig Zogby. The colours should read bright yellow with bright yellow sleeves, dark green stars, dark green cap, bright yellow star. New silks for number four, too fat to fly. Also, jockey change here. Number 12, Soul of Wit, is written by apprentice Dennis Schwartz. Just quickly update you with that uh, second jackpot uh, pool. Second jackpot pool, which started in race five, ended up on 80,393 rand, 80393. It is betting on race seven on the tote. The favorite is number 11, Ocean City at five rand 20. Four, too fat to fly, five rand 70. One, Shea Bella is eight rand 40. Two, Winter Watch, eight rand 50. And 10, Princess Nicole is nine rand 20. 10 rand and upwards bar those. First runner to go by, the early one, is number six, uh, True Charm, Marco van Rensburg. Ballads, the runner's now leaving the parade ring. Next one to go by, number three, Nawasi, and this is Apprentice Nathan Clink. Here's number four, Too Fat to Fly, as Amanga Kamala now races in the colors of Colin Govindasamy in partnership with Jacques Bierman, Baron Burtis, and Craig Zogby. First run on the high felt for number four, Too Fat to Fly. Going by next is number seven, All of Me, Ryan Munger.
Heading by is number 10, uh, Princess Nicole and Apprentice uh, Cole Dickin, uh, claiming two and a half. Yes, Princess Nicole, number 10. Number one is Shay Bella, Apprentice Tabiso Gomete, claiming four. Eight is See My Vision, Mark Khan. Two, Winter Watch, Pierce Stratum. Twelve is Soul of Wit, Apprentice Dennis Schwarz. Eleven is Ocean City and Warren Kennedy. Just waiting for a couple more. You can see number nine, impressive Duchess Gavin Lorena is uh, currently going the opposite way. And number five, League of Verona has already gone to the start under Colin's story. So it's just impressive Duchess number nine to go to the post. Let's give you a latest update on the betting here. The favorite is number 11, Ocean City at five rand 20. Four, two fats to fly, six rand 20. One, Shabella, eight rand 20. Number 10, Princess Nicole, eight rand 50. And number two, Winter Watch, eight rand 60. Betting a 10 rand and upwards bar those. Just impressive uh, Duchess to go down. Race seven, number nine. Race number seven, the interbet.co.za, 0861 160 for Liz Amir's 92 handicap. It is over five furlongs, 1,000 meters if you prefer. And uh, I see at the back of the grandstand there are some nice uh, big rain clouds uh, looming large. But I think we'll uh, finish the meeting with a double handful and uh, then that rain can come and obviously get the track in superb condition for Saturday, which will be the World Sports Betting Grand Heritage Meeting. But uh, we're just watching Impressive Duchess trying to get down to the start. That is number nine. Gavin Larina is on top of that. A very open race. In fact, if you can find the winner, I'm um, uh, all ears because I think it is one of the more difficult races that we've seen throughout the afternoon. A lot of decent type of sprinters over here. And um, could quite easily call this uh, the Gardenia handicap, couldn't you? Because uh, there's just that much quality and that much speed uh, to uh, think that this is uh, a graded type of uh, event. But um, let's have another look at it. I know it's only a Phillies and Mares 92 handicap, but there are a few horses over here that have uh, taken place in stronger races and run to some horses that have uh, really run well in bigger uh, feature type of races. And I'm going to go with some value. Uh, the 8 Seema Vision. I'm actually quite surprised to see that she's not at the top of the betting boards or uh, not when I...